Hey guys, this is Romeo coming with you, coming to you with another video. Um, we are actually going to be doing an older box today. We're going to be doing 1993 series Bowman. You know what that means. We'll be looking for Derek Jeter. Uh, I was waiting for new Bowman. A new Bowman box of 2019. Start breaking those with everybody else. And they actually should be here later. So I may have another video coming later as well. Uh, and then I know I was I uh, was Diamond Kings. I was going to do a box of Diamond Kings. And I just haven't gotten any Diamond King yet. Um, well, actually, wait. No, I did. I ordered two of them. I got one. And, uh, what is that? I know that day, it's kind of late. I had a migraine. I wanted to open them, but I didn't want to film it. So we went ahead and opened that. But the second case that I've been waiting for, we have not gotten anything uh, for that. We've been having problems with that for some reason, right? But we will be doing these ones. We will be looking for that Derek Jeter rookie card, All right? So here's the first pack right away. Let's see if we get lucky. Get maybe even two Derek Jeter's. I know Derek Jeter's been getting more popular this, uh, the time this year. Good place, you know, he goes by because he will definitely be inducted into the Hall of Fame. You know what that means also. Once he gets into that Hall of Fame, his cards are just going up. So that's why before these go, these boxes start going up completely ridiculous prices we're just gonna gonna try to get as many as we can or something as long as they're still affordable i know i looked at one of them and it was ooh, sticky hopefully that's ooh, look at that a top prospect right away but that's not what the one we want i can tell yeah i didn't realize these cards would be so sticky Ooh, look at that nigel wilson that uh, looks like it's got a chrome border or something it's a little scratch too. too bad. It's a good thing it's that is not or Jeter. Yeah. Joe Rahe. Got Trevor Hoffman, second year. Calvin Calvin Reese. Pedro Stasia. I think yeah. Tim Belcher. I realize these would be so sticky. Chris Snowpick. Hopefully we don't have any kind of damage on them. Gerald Clark. At least on the Jeter. Glass Miner. Deion Sanders. Prime Time. Brett Butler. Doug Desenzo, I think it's pronounced. Lando Merced, I remember him. Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer right there. Trevor Hoffman as well. All right, so, yep, these boxes are definitely sticky. Or packs. So that's why I got another Hall of Famer right off the bat of that. Okay, so let's see what we can do. We got Robin Yount. Hall of Famer, like I said. Bobby Kelly. Brady Anderson. Right. T.R. Lewis. T.H. Lewis. Ooh, there's a foil. All right. J Jeremy. Jeremy Burnett. Sorry. Ray David. Pretty sweet. Top prospect as well. Another Trevor Hoffman, second year card. Yalvin Reese. Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer. With the Mets, not the Orioles. Wow. JT Snow. Ivan Cruz. Chris Sheff. I'm also really excited. I, you guys have uh, heard of um, 
Filmington, right? Uh, I got one of his RC boxes. I've been watching a lot of those, and people get some good hits. Hopefully, I can get something good off of that. So um, that will be volume four, and I'll be posting that as well. Got Bobby Hughes and Damon Hillen Hollins. All right, let's go to our next pack. Sticky pack. Sorry about the setup here. I know I usually have more one room to do this with, but uh, space is a little. And there's all sorts of stuff on that space right now, we'll say. My table. Jimmy Gonzalez. We got Todd Hudley. Oh, Luis Ortiz on that one. And Todd Hudley on this one. Mike DeQuist, Dwayne Ward, Ruben Sierra, I remember him, he was pretty good, decent player, I believe his defense is what he was known for more, Norm Carlton, there's our foil, Los Alvarez, foil is... Terrell Lowry. Lour right. Top prospect. I guess all those ones are like that. Mark Kiefer. I can tell there's some something going on in that, if you can see it. And probably from the other card, Melito Paris. Terry Steinbach. Next one is Jason Kindle. Our last is Tony Pena. All right. These packs are a little harder to actually rip open. Junk wax era, all right. All right, Mike Matthews. We got Pat Listek, and then Aaron Selly. Let me move this around. Maybe that will be a little better. I just didn't want to get you guys closer so you guys can see. I'm using my kids table this is why i'm kind of set on room so let's see what this one is that one is steve cook chad curtis rob dibble all right let's try to make this as fast as we can because it's not it's going to be too long. So you got Greg Michaels. Or Greg Michael. You got Reggie Sanders. Hmm. I think I remember that name, but that was then. Oops. Got another top prospect here. Ooh, two of them, it looks like, on this one. Let's see who that is. Jesse Hollins, Kim Ramier, maybe it was that one, Carlos Garcia, Alice Berg, remember it, with the Red Sox, he was a pretty decent player, Larry Walker, Pro. hopefully he future Hall of Famer there, I believe. He should go in. Had a decent career. Leo Gomez is your last one for that pack. Uh, I remember him. I think he started off with the Expos. Um, I remember having some of his rookie cards back in the uh, 89, 90, somewhere around there. And then uh, after the Expos, I mean, he was with the Rockies. That's 
one I remember him the most, the Rockies. All right, so let's see. Okay, ooh, there's a Yankee, but it's not the right Yankee. All right. Well, that one's not it. That one's the one in front, Mike Robertson. That one's a white sock, and then on the back, sticking to it, Andy Cook. Red Sox. So hopefully that Derek Jeter is not stuck. We have it in here. Ken Ryan. Jose Sandoval. Wilson Alvarez. And Barry Bonds. Back when he was skinny still. Or he was on the steroids, I believe. <laughs> um, Chad Curtis. I still wonder how good he would have been without the steroids. He was a really good player before that. I don't know why he would ever do that. Mark Langston. He wouldn't have hit as many home runs. That's why people do not like him so much. Because he broke the record cheating. That's what I say too. But yeah, It is what it is. Javi Lopez. Catcher for the... Braves, he was a decent player as well. I remember him, he had a few good years. Joe Russell Lee, back in those 90 Braves teams that were like really good. Russ Springer, thanks to their ace pitching, he got he had four ace pitchers, he had four 20 game winners on that. You got Omar Bell, Greg Maddox, Steve Avery was um, well, Greg Maddox, you got three Hall of Famers, Greg Maddox, John Smoltz, and uh. Was the last guy, uh, Tom Glavin. And then you had Steve Avery on top of that. He's the only one that's not a Hall of Famer off of those. Chakar. He did have a few good years, though. Mitch Williams. Is that wild thing, right? That's what I remember. Back with the Phillies. I remember him with the Giants. That's when his wild thing days were. And that he came up. Definitely did put that song on for him. I remember that. He's an analyst, analyst for a few years, and then he got into something. Oh, he got in a dispute or something. All right, so there's our foil. Larry, Larry Sutton. So, player of the year, I think. Not a prospect on that one. Let's see. Ruben Sierra again. Arm Carlton. Remember, he was decent. Greg Hansel. There's another one here. Joe Gra Gray. Gray Gray something like that. Richie Mahdi. Moody. I'm oh, sorry, you can't get it to focus. Okay, so you got Omar Olivares. There you go. Focus. West Chamberlain. You got one behind there. Kurt Stillwell. Okay. Should get uh, our Derek Jeter in this box. I mean, every box that I've bought, I've gotten the people that I want so far. Bob Wicken. Like I said, just hopefully it's not st sticky or this. Hopefully it doesn't have any damage on there. Joe Randa. We are all sticking. Oh my goodness. Wally Joyner. I remember him. He was a decent player for a little while. Roger Stena. And Willie McGee. Another pretty decent player. The Cardinals. I remember him. And then Vince Coleman. Should have put these in the freezer, like Filmington said on one of his videos, because he bought one of these uh, 93 packs. Not this time, but he bought uh, Upper Deck, and they were sticking really bad. So, let's see. But we have a too bad, too late now. Kenny Garley, Carlisle, Billy Words on that from the Indians. But let's see if we can get it. Okay, there you go. Let's 
Sorry if I'm taking so long, but these cards are just so sticky. I can't. Tim Salmon. Salmon. Can't uh, quite go as fast as I would like. Mike Felder. Julio Bruno. Aaron Small. Mariners. Ron Balloon. My favorite team, especially back when you had King Griffey Jr. and Jay Buhner and, of course, Alex Rodriguez. Tommy Lewis. And don't forget Edgar Martinez. Hall of Famer now. Chipper Jones. Now that's not a bad one to have in a foil. Let's see what kind of condition that looks like. It's a pretty good condition. Corners are pretty good. Yeah. Centering. Yeah, it looks like it's a little off centered. That's all right. I'll take that. To the top prospects. Chipper Jones. All right. Edgar Martinez. There. I'm just talking about him. That is a different kind of picture there. <laughs> all right. One of my favorite Mariners. But my favorite Mariner would be Ken Griffey Jr. Joe. Smack. Joe Kamek, I think. I don't know how you pronounce that. Felix Jose, George Brett, Hall of Famer, one of the best hitters ever. Remember him? He's like, at least back then, he was the only player to have a um, batting title in like three different decades. It was 60s, 70s, and 80s, I believe. Okay. All right. Oro Hershiser. Another pretty decent player. He had a few good years on him. Remember him? He, he was on that team in the World Series when the Dodgers won. That's probably the, that the last time I can't even remember. And he they actually won the World Series. Now they've gone to the World Series late. He just can't seem to win the championship. Though. Got that open. Now, let's see. Carlos Elgato. Another decent player. Kurt Miller. Hector Brual. Brual. I don't know. Mike Neal. Timmy. Shailis, Shailis, something like that. <laughs> I don't remember a lot of these. Robert, Roberto Petagin. Hmm. It's a prospect. Shane Mack. Billy Hall. Maidri Cummings. Manny Ramirez, that second year card, I believe. Huh. Look at him. Look at all that hair. That's before all the steroids as well. John Jaha. Eddie. He's, he's another player that probably did not need to take steroids. He was a really good player. He. He steroids, he booked up and started hitting all those homers, but he would have been good without it. Now he's going to have a hard time to get into the Hall of Fame. Brett Barber, Barbary. And Dave Hollins. There's the last card. All right. Like I said, sorry guys for taking so long in this video. I just did not think these cards would be like that. And I saw Eric Jabs on the Jams. Jabs from the Jabs, Jabs family breaks them open, and I remember him in the heart of a heart of a time. Yeah. Line of the Shields, another pretty decent player for a few years, probably even better than his son. He had some speed on him, I remember that. Scott Posey. Kirby Puckett, another Hall of Famer there. 
That was the best twin ever. Mike Moeller. Robert. Oops. I guess. I'm trying to read the name off. It's kind of hard. Ian Ian Horn? Horn? I don't know. <laughs> I never heard of him. I don't remember him. Miguel Batista. Yeah. Edgar Herrera. Frank Thomas, another Hall of Famer. I mean, he's considered the best White Sox. Kurt Schilling, another great player. That should be in the Hall of Fame if you've seen him pitch. Carlos Becerra. Mark Gardner. Lou Whitaker. And Dan Wilson. Wow, we did not get a foil card on that, I believe. I'm correct. Let me make sure. Double check to see if they're not stuck. If it's not stuck on one of the other ones, but I don't believe we had one on this one. Nope, I don't see one. Huh. That's weird. Thought there was one in every pack. We've got 14 Super Premium Picture Cards. What it says on there. Special. What does that say? Special engraved foil card in every pack. See, I was promised a foil pack and I don't have any. And I don't believe it didn't look like the case was messed with. I'm putting search through, I should say. I'm hard to tell, maybe. Could have been that could have been the Derek Jeter, hopefully not. Alright. Uh, Kenny Lofton. Another speedy player, if I remember. As I remember, he used to be a decent player as well. Darren Burton. This one's got a foil. I wonder why they didn't, the other one didn't. Sean Bergman. Joe. Sicarella. Something like that. Got Billy Hall. Shane Mack. Roberto. Beijing. I believe we, that's the second one that we got. Come on. Two. We're getting repeats already. No Derek. Cheater, Kyle Abbott. And here's our foil. Two foils. Oh, see. So I got cheated on the other one, but I got one. The McCarthy. The first one. Cross top prospect. And then Bobby Jones. That is just weird. So I didn't. Sid Fernandez. Remember him too. A few good years as well. Frank Sem Seminara. Danny Batista, Fred McGriff, another player. I think he should be on the Hall of Fame, especially if you have like Tim Raines. I mean, if you see 92 totals, what do you have? Home runs 35, see on there. And uh, that year he had 191. RBI, so we got 104, 515. What's his average? 279 and 286. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not over three, but John Valentine, I believe. I don't remember if he reached the 500 mark or not, but he was close at least. But when you have people like I said, like Tim Raines that is on there, and some of these other guys that have made it on there, uh, I believe Fred McGriff should be on there as well. Especially if you remember back when he was what with the Blue Jays, you know, he won one of those World Series because of him. I'm pretty sure him and Roberto Alomar. All right, back to the stickness. Mike Hustler, <laughs> Hostetler. I think I prefer Mike Hustler though. Mike Maxudian. Isn't 
got a better name, like Hustler. I think it sounds like a rapper's name or something. I'll be Lopez. Yeah, Adam Brad Pennington. Pidgey Sanders again. Another repeat. Leo Bruno. Huh. Leo Bruno. Like it rhymes a little earn small. So we got a few repeats already. Ron Lynn. Balloon, something like that. Here's our foil. Willie Green. Juan Gonzalez. Another guy known for steroid use. Remember him, he was a good home run hitter if you go back here and see look at 43 home runs I believe that year. 75. So this is must be his second year, I think. But he was uh pretty good uh pretty hot rookie back when he was playing at Whitfield when he first started. Too bad he had to get into the steroids too. Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. Terry McCollin and Gary Sheffield, another pretty decent player, but another one that's, as you know, steroids as well. In that steroid era, you had probably most of the players that actually were taking steroids, and that's when you know, the home runs started surging. I uh, had a lot of 40s, 50s, 60s, and as you see, all the way up to 70, all because of that. All right. Terry Burroughs. Bobby Ayala. Barry. Daryl Boston. Boston. Rod Lofton. I'll try to start going a little faster on these. I know this is taking too long. Wilson Alvarez. Chad Curtis, Mark Langston, another pretty decent pitcher back in the day, Nick Malecki, alright here's our foil, Hal and Brian McRae, father and son, Kansas City Royals, that's why there was two people on there, Jay Buhner, one of those Mariners I tell you about Matt Nukes back when he were good that was back when they actually have the record for the most wins in the season I believe and then they ended up losing to Jeff King to the Yankees one of on their one of their years that they were the World Series champions alright Marquise Grissom uh, that was their problem. They were a good team, but they were lacking um, pitching. Besides, basically, the big unit back then, they did not have that but great of pitchers compared to the Yankees. They could never get post past those Yankees. Trust me, every year I would root for them. Every year they would let me down. Oh. Jim Con Converse. I wonder if he's Part of the Converse family, Tommy Adams, Steve Olsen, checklist, wow, that's great, a checklist, now I can check to see what players I don't, I do have, and the Derek Jeter that I don't have yet, Dennis Mueller, Mike Lansing, Charles Nagy, Jose Guzman, here's our foil, JT Snow, Danny Martinez, oh, Danny Martinez, I believe it, that's, that's probably an air card, it should be Dennis Martinez, Danny Martinez, El Presidente, I remember him. Montreal Expos. 
was a conseco I got a mean guy that brought everything to life about that the steroid era Ivan Rodriguez Pudgy Pudge Rodriguez Danny Tartable another decent player back well, what is he on here the Yankees no oh, I didn't even remember that just remember him with my captain with um, Kansas City Royals. That's Bo Jackson and George Brett, but Brett Saberhagen had some decent players. Of course, the best player was George Brett. And after that was probably Bo Jackson. If he hadn't gotten hurt, he might have been had a better career, I think. Because he lost some speed after he got hurt. So Steve Cox. Mike Welch. Clemente Alvarez. Ray Sanchez. Vince Coleman. There you go. Not the Mets. Uh, some of those other speedsters. speedsters. He is basically second to uh, Ricky Henderson on steals almost every year, I think. If I remember correctly. Candy Maldonado. Remember him as well. Tim Costco. Costco. There's our foil. And it's stuck. So hopefully not our Derek Jeter. Brent Gates. Foil is David McCarthy. I think so far our best one is that foil. Shipper Jones. And Davis. Jeff Darwin. Ryan Sandberg, another Hall of Famer there. I remember Ryan Sandberg and Mark Grace back in those days. Alan Trammell. Alan Trammell, another Hall of Famer there. The Tigers. Oh, look at that. It's actually two. Two Alan Trammells back, stuck back to back. They're stuck to each other. All right, so let's continue on, see if we can hit that. We looks like we have, wow, these things are super sticky. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs. It looks like we have left to find that Derek Cheater. And like I said, I'm sorry for this long video. If it was not for thickness of these packs I can go a lot faster. So I'm sorry, let me get these off camera. It's so hard to open them. And then fix them, maybe we can go a little bit faster like that. Sorry you guys. These cards are just so sticky. Like I said, hopefully they just don't have that much damage on them, or any damage would be great, but... Kurt Manhoring. Then McDonald. Bo Jackson. Talking about Bo Jackson right there. With the White Sox. Uh -huh. Mickey Maroon. Morandini. Bobby Thigpen. Jose Malente is our foil. Uh, move on. He was also another of other good players. Home runs. Uh, there. I wonder if this is his rookie. Move on. So we got 13. No, so this is his second year. That was before he started hitting all those home runs. And Brook Fortune. Bob Welch. Remember him? Sean Ryan, Rob Shensky, something like that. And there's Dennis Eckersley, another Hall of Famer. And our last one's Quentin McCracken. All right. Try the same thing. See if I can get these unstuck a little quicker and go through a little quicker. Dennis Martinez, I remember him. I would say he's the one that got... For a home run in one of those World Series, can't remember which one now, but 
I think I do remember watching that. Checklist. Another checklist. Damn checklist. The most exciting things in the package. Yeah, right. Yeah. Least of a card. Alright guys, I'm almost done. Let's see. Yep. Alright. Yeah, Pete Harnish. Got Chili Davis. It's a heck of a name. Ozzy Smith. The Wizard of Oz. Other Hall of Famer. Trail Plantier. Got Kent Herbick. Oh, look at that. Ken and Ken and Ken Jr. Griffey. <laughs> so Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey and Ken Griffey Jr. That. Like I said, he's probably my favorite player of all time. Danny Michelli. Brian DeVille. If it wasn't for injuries plaguing him at the end of his career, I think he would have probably broken the home run record. Tom Glavin, Hall of Famer. Yeah. That nasty 90s pitching staff for the Braves. Pedro Griffel. Daryl Henderson. That was the reason why they would always be in the World Series. I remember it was basically in those years... It's like four years in a row they were in the World Series. At least they got they won one of them. But, uh, and then in football, it was the Bills, Buffalo Bills. Four years in a row, going I believe two, and they didn't win a single one of theirs. It was almost the same exact thing. Damn checklist! I don't know why I need so many checklists. But their checklist. To check this in the row for or in back to back packages or packs or well, getting close to the end and we still don't have our Derek Jeter that we're looking for. Alright. Derek Jeter. There's another one stuck on there. Just gonna all right. Tell you they're pretty stuck. Billy Ashley. Dave Henson. Nilsson. Ozzy Guillen. Remember him. Coach. Manager. Shane Andrews. See, there's another one. They are just so stuck. All right. And they got Mark Newfield. Battle Mariners, top prospects of Bill. It's another one stuck to that one. See? They're just horrible. Some top prospects. Okay. There's another one, Charles. Turner. Turner. Desi. Lufford. Tony Fernandez. Remember him? Who was he with? He wasn't with the Mets. It was Blue Jays, I believe. Tony Fernandez. He was. He has a good shortstop, if I remember correctly. He was one of the better shortstops at that time. Marcus Aramis, Tyler Green, Chris Holtz, and Alan Hambry. I remember him and Barry Larkin, I believe. They were two of the better ones. Impact. It's definitely a lot longer than I expected to be lasting on this box break. These cards are just so damn sticky. Yeah, I rec recommend probably not getting them, or I don't know, it probably depends on this, wherever they store them at. I was so excited to open them until I started it open. And until I actually started opening the packs. Wow. You know what? Maybe I'm just going to stick to just trying to get the Rookies, uh, Derek Jeter's rookies by themselves, Stan Belinda. 
Mark Hutton, Danny Chalowski, Ryan McRae, I'll say Pitt. Jim Tatum is our foil. Oh, Ozzy Canseco. Jose's twin brother. Remember, he did not have the talents his brother did. But, you know, Paul Molitor, another Hall of Famer. I'm black, but black. Major Cummings. Jose Vieira. Mike James, Joel Clemens, Jamel Liss, Chuck Liss, something like that, Ben, Lum Hall, something like that. Some, got some weird names on here. Names that I don't even remember. Because they probably didn't make it, you know. Thomas is always being known for bring in prospects and stuff and some of them don't make it we already we know that but that, i mean that's the good thing i mean that's why people look to see all these uh new bowman ones that's why they're so expensive but people look forward to them because you have the prospects first cards and you might get lucky and get somebody that will turn out to be great you know You have people that are hyped up, you know, you already know their names before they even come in, basically, and then you have other people that just come out of nowhere. Uh, I know one of the ones that was, he was a little hyped up, I believe, when we first started was King Griffey Jr. I remember when he first came out, Upper Deck was probably the first one to feature him. That's a big star. Sean Lowe. I wish his card was actually a lot more. But, oh, no. Like I say, it is what it is. Looks like this one has some kind of damage on their rod, rod back. Or stains or something. Mike Monroe from all the stickiness. Axto Ochoa. Matt Williams. Remember that? Sam Stalker. Stalker. What a name. Their foil. Matt Williams. I remember he had a few good years for home runs. Junior Felix. What is Nixon? Another one. Yeah, that was a little speedy. Let's see. A long career, if I remember correctly. See, home runs. He didn't have very many. He had two, six by that time. RBIs. I don't show the steals on there, but I remember him being a little speedy, like I said. Damon Lindis. Chris Cody. Getty's Blaze. Getty's Blaze. Tom Nevis and Brian Common Stone. Something like that. I just know it is not Derek Jeter. It's not the Derek Jeter that we are looking for. Get that, guys. Try to break these again. Part of me. All right, so we got Steve Farr, Butch Husky, Mike Debro. Bill Hasselman, Ed Sprague, and our foil is Jason Murray. It's got a little bit of damage. You feel it there as well. So, oh, actually, there's one behind it. I can feel it. Uh, another one with damage. So, all this thickness, Tony Longmire. Good thing it's not a great player. Eddie Murray again. Hall of Famer once more. JT Snow again. Let's see, we got all these repeats now. Mark Smith. So nicely. Tom Allensworth. Hey, what is that? Adel. That old Davenport. 
Marcus Monroe. More. Uh oh, guys, we got four packs left. We got four packs left to find that Derek Cheater. Hopefully, it is in good condition. When we do find them, I believe we can find them. At least he, it doesn't have gum. <laughs> this would it be what? 27 year old gum, something like that. Chipper Jones foil is probably still the best hit we've gotten. And then after that, it's probably King Griffey Jr. King Griffey and King Griffey Jr. foil. Father and son. All right, so we got Jose Mercedes. Mercedes, author Arthur Rhodes. Mike Michelin. Tony Mitchell. Scott Cooper. Our foil is Todd Jones. And look at that. Ariana Rivera, second year card. Look at how young he looks on that. Oh man, I can see. That's here. A little bit of loss. Oh well. What can we do about that? Just won't send it to get great. Lance Langship. Got beer. I also sent some cards to get graded. And I still haven't heard anything about it. That one's good. Any of you guys have sent any cards? Let me know how long it takes. I've I've sent them, or I sent them like two weeks ago, and I I still haven't gotten. Or when every time I look on the website, I, they haven't received my order. Supposedly, Game Taylor, there's no inf info on them. He, he, Greg Olson. I sent a couple of. Uh, I actually sent a, a rookie, a Derek Jeter rookie tops that I had from when I was younger. Hopefully it's a good condition. It's one of those mint tans. And then uh, a couple of uh, Mookie Bats rookie cards and Aaron Judge. One or two rookie cards. I think I messed up. I think I should have probably sent in some of my uh, autographed rookie cards that I have. I know what I have. Uh, Aaron Judge rookie auto. I have a Shohei Otani rookie auto green refactor. I have a Casey Mice number one draft pick for last year. His auto for Bowman. Bowman, Bowman draft. And some other ones. Mike Draper. Cecil Fielder. Prince Fielder's dad. He had that 52 year or 52 home run year, I believe he's the first one to do it in a while. David Justice, another decent player back in those days. Ken Ramos. Jeff Bagwell, Hall of Famer. Justin Thompson, and there's our foil. Larry Thomas. Rich Robertson, Marshall Doe's. Nikita, Carl Hanselman. Down to two packs, guys. Two packs, and we still haven't gotten our... We got some Yankees on here, but not the one we are looking for. The next one. It's going to come one back down to one of those uh, last pack mojos, hopefully. Come on. We need a Derek Jeter to make us worth it. If not, it's all for nothing. Especially when you have sticky cards. Oh my goodness, these packs. All right, so here's our first one. Real Corm Cormier, some of that. Todd Williams for the Dodgers. Ray Langford, Charlie Lynn Brent, Jeff Lauser. And our foil is Tim Clark. Francis G Gamis, Gamis, I think. You can see, 
some damage on there. The cancel. Joe Gahi. Benito Santiago. Remember him as well. He's a decent player. Padres. Boy, I remember him. He is with the Florida Marlins on here. Rick. I mean, Jose Oliva. Justin Thompson. And Mike Williams. Oh, man. There's our streak going to come down to this. Last pack mojo. Come on. We still need that. Their Jeter rookie card. Well, yeah, I don't think it looked like they messed with the package, but who knows? It could have been. But, uh, I mean, I also saw the Jazz family, or I saw a video of Jazz family break one of these cases. Not this one exactly, but looking for somebody like that. And out of all of it, they did not get anybody. Or they didn't get the rookie card. Remember that. So, I mean, there is still Spencer packages. He actually did two of them, I remember now. One of them was the upper deck looking for King Griffey Jr. And he didn't get the King Griffey Jr. Todd Jones. Actor. Roscoe. Ryan Thompson. George Bell. Jody Reed. Troy O'Leary is our foil. Too bad that. Was not our uh, our Yankee Greg Orr, Larry Rodder, our Dirk Jeter rookie, I should say, Nigel Wilson, Jim Gaynor, Tim Morrell, Greg Lefkers, Paul Ellis. And Felipe Lira are our last one. Oh man, that is so disappointing. We did not get Derek Cheater. That is such a drag. All right, we got all these checklists, but no Derek Cheater. It's all junk. You got this Rana Rivera second year card, I guess. You got this Chipper Jones foil, and that looks like an ingrate shape. Where's our other one? And we got this King Griffey and King Griffey Jr. Father and Son foil. That's a nice card. Those are our three best cards that we got on here. A bunch of Hall of Famers and everything, but we did not get Derek Jeter. So that is too bad. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure you, if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel, please. I need some more subs on there. And I will be breaking another box, hopefully, later on today, if there's time. I actually am getting, I believe, I, I might be getting a couple more boxes. I know I'm still waiting for that. Uh, Diamond Kings, also, stuck somewhere in the nearby town. And, uh, or, yeah, nearby town. And then... That, uh, oh, I got two things coming. I've ordered them from Dave and what's Dave and Allen, I think, Sports World. Um, uh, but that's where I pre ordered my uh, Bowman. They were a decent price when I got them 120. Now they're up to like 137 or something. I think it was 120. Now they're like 137. Uh, if I would have known my local card, I have a card shop here near me and uh, if I would have known they were going to have them on time I would have waited they actually had them yesterday and they have them for a decent price uh, they have I believe 120 127 or something One, or my, it might be 120 I don't remember uh, 124 something like that One, one well, don't quote me it's like 120 to 127 something like that is what the hobby box it's worth um, the jumbo pack though. Like I, every place I've seen them, they are over three hundred bucks. Uh, they actually have them for two ninety nine, so basically three hundred. That's probably about the best price. Uh, they also had a uh, case that I got or a box that I got a while ago. A while ago for a great price too. They had uh, the Bowman's draft. They actually had them really cheap. I think I got. Mine for like a hundred and sixty-seven or something like that. 
but it was uh it was under 170 it might have been 169 but it was under under 170 for a jumbo box uh and the jumbo boxes i've seen they maybe they might have be as cheap as like 250 or something like that all the way up to 300 and some so that was definitely a great price yeah. and they were great cards i got that's where i got my crazy mice autographs from them. Uh, first film in the autograph, which is nice. And then uh, I went back to see if they had uh, another box, because I remember they had two or three boxes at the time. And by the time I went back, they were gone. So my loss, I guess. But, alright, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Like I said, once again, it's a sad day. We didn't get our, our Jeter rookie. Until next time, alright? Bye.